Hey, Marty and Carol. Um, I wanted to send you this video because I want you to double check my thinking here. I've been through the list that, that you sent me to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I just like to talk this through with you. And I thought sending you a video with my screen um, and what I'm thinking is probably going to be the quickest and easiest. Um, Okay, so the problem I'm working on or the you know the solution solution I'm wanting to find is where the user, website user, can come to the site, select multiple ministers officiants, and basically um, for them to contact them regarding you know a, a wedding. So um, I think I have it figured out, and you're gonna have to kind of use your imagination a little bit on this because I did not finish out the um this example or this functionality because i wanted to make sure this sounds right to us to us all and that it will work i i believe i've worked out all the pieces so that i can programmatically do this and so now i just want to make sure that i'm covering all the um business application stuff that you wanted to cover so okay so basically what we're going to do is every minister is going to be set up as a product. <laughs> I know this is a little bit different, but I think it's going to get us what we want without requiring the user to fill out that form multiple times. So let me just click into one of these. And of course, this is not set up whatsoever. So because they're a product, you can see a price, but I can hide that. I can hide this. I can change the wording on the button to say, whatever makes sense to you know, what did we say i think it's somewhere in all my in all my lists and paperwork i think it says um i don't even know now i'm like been looking at this for about the last six hours and i'm starting to get a little loopy so basically we there's a lot we can hide typically there's let me see if i have one that's filled out did i fill out carol's more completely i may not have or marty's let's look at marty's you're down there marty see um mm, no okay so we are not selling people this would be the <laughs> deposit amount and i know that's not your deposit amount i was just throwing in information just to have placeholders so i could see if this would even work so okay yeah i didn't fill out anything that's what i thought so typically you know on a product there's a short description or whatever up here which could be the like minister's bio it would show up up here we'd hide this we change the wording on this to you know um contact me con i don't know everything sounds weird every time i say it so you guys will carol help and so down here we could have like the personal bio we can have you know under this picture um the primary picture can be their headshot and then under that we can do all the love notes pictures and even videos and they would show up as little thumbnails and the user could click on them they would you know go through them like that of course it would show reviews as a separate tab so that's good they can even leave reviews see yay and so, and they submit and we put it in so that it has to be mediated. Somebody has to approve the review before it shows up on this page and the reviews show up over here and the submit a review over there. And so if I go back to the grid, as long as everybody's picture is the same size, it will show just three across and across. And then when you uh, hover over someone, see we'd hide these little price things here and this, category would be um like um we would just hide i would just hide the category and just have it be their name we can make that bigger um the add to cart we would say contact contact officiant or whatever like i said makes sense have no um, right now i'm just you know brain dead so so then see when i click it, it it puts a little yay see it did it it says yay add add me contact me yes so everybody is contacted um what i would have to do then is add a button and of course this would not say shop it would be meet the knot tires so this is just like a test page so um technically it's going into the cart page we would we would i'd change that name as well to something appropriate um and then they would go through what typically would be considered a checkout process you know if it were a product um but 
It's not going to be a product. It's just going to say minister, and there's not going to be a price or quantity or a total. Those will all be hidden. But, like, let's just say, oh, no, I don't want to contact him. You know, so they X them off the list. And um, so there's a lot of little things to be changed, but it does still link back to the efficient, um, you know, detail or listing page. So that's good. Somebody could always say, now, why did I pick them? I don't know. Let me go in here and see. So um, that we'd hide the update. We'd, ha we'd hide all this. And then it would be um, confirm that you want to contact these officiants or something on this button. And then they would click that. And then it would go to the check, what's a traditionally a checkout page. And this would be the form that they fill out. They could fill out the form whatever the fields are, which I have the list you sent me. And of course, any payment information would be turned off because we don't need payment. And then they would say, um, you know, confirm that everybody, you know, please contact me for my wedding, you know, or whatever the button says. So then it would send, and then I would purchase this. Um, I was going to purchase it the first time just to make sure it it works. It's a yearly subscription for the updates. Uh, theoretically, you could not get the updates, but you might, might miss some kind of security thing, and eventually the compatibility would, uh, it wouldn't work anymore, so you kind of want to do that. I hate that they started doing that, but 29 bucks isn't too bad. So I was going to buy it just so I could test it and, and make sure this is what we need, but what this allows me to do, because each minister is set up as a product it allows me to uh, send out a unique email per minister so basically this is what will allow me to send the minister the email with the form answers the contents um, to him individually and not to like the website admin or the store admin um, so basically each person would get their own, each officiant would get their email to contact the person, and even the, the bride or would also get uh, a copy of what they submitted, you know, and saying, you know, whatever we want it to say, um, please allow, you know, everyone 24 to 48 hours to contact you or whatever you tell me, whatever the email says, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, the point is everyone will get the proper, proper emails because this is product based. I can specifically tell it for each product who the email goes to. And each person's email can be structured completely differently if you wanted to. So um, anyway, I think this is what's going to work for what we want to do there. So just um, let me know if you see any holes or problems with what I'm proposing that we do. If it looks good to you, then I can go ahead and build it out. And um, of course, I'll buy this at the very last moment so that we have a full 30 days to kind of test it and make sure it's going to work. And then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. But I think this is the answer we want to the minister's grid. The minister's detail or bio page that's also going to contain the love notes portion of it and then having that um, multi-select uh, email submittal form so have I forgotten anything here or or I think I have it all but just let me know and I know I'm rambling I apologize so have a great weekend thanks guys